Hello. Yes, my criticism of Nick Griffin, part two. I make this video again because there is criticism um, that needs, it needs answering Nick, my criticism. It needs dealing with. It's not an attack, right? You're a fellow nationalist and I'll always treat you as such. I'll always look at you as a fellow nationalist. You're not the enemy. You're not a rat's arse. You're not a snitch like Collett and all the rest of them. You're a, a genuine nationalist. However, however, the chinks in your armour our enemies have been able to take advantage of and manipulate the chinks being spoon feeding your ego and the lure of money, which I'll get back to in a minute. Uh, you're going to watch a video. I'm sure you've all watched it before. It's Peter Cheney, Nick Griffin, Adam Walker here in Liverpool several years ago outside Belvale uh, Police Station. According to Cheney, he's been arrested over this leaflet, the Labour 25. That uh, um, spotlights 25 paedophiles in the Labour Party or something uh, like that. Well, first of all, the public's not interested about how many paedophiles are in the Labour or Tory or Lib Dem Party. They couldn't give a toss. They've got more important things to worry about. But our enemies pushed that leaflet because that's what they want you to put out. Not leaflets dealing with getting your bins emptied on time or um, council care centres for children and elderly clothes and unemployment crime, you know, the list is endless, rubbish getting dumped everywhere, the list is endless, they're more concerned over issues like that, not 25 paedophiles in the Labour Party, real or imagined, but our enemies obviously were pushing that, but anyway, according to Tierney, he was arrested over this leaflet, he refused to give his DNA fingerprints, so, uh, in his words, he was tortured, which is a load of fucking bollocks. The whole thing's being set up by him and his controllers in the security services. And to get you down to Belleville Police Station talking and listening to um, Taney making the BMP look like a gang of weirdos, criminals and dangerous people with dangerous ideas. You see, when you were arrested over the secret agent BBC Jason Gwynsting several years ago, um, well, more than several years ago, when was it? 205? Was it 205? Anyway, whatever. Um, when you were arrested for that and the police came to your home, did you barricade your door and prevent them entry? No, you didn't. But you you seem to believe or feel it was okay for Mike Whitby to do that. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and when you, when you were taken to the police station, did you refuse to give them your DNA and your fingerprints? Well, of course you didn't. But you, you, uh, you condoned um, Pisa Cheney for not giving his. You see, once the story broke, let's say it was true, which it's not, right? It was to get you outside the police station to make the BMP look like a gang of criminals and weirdos. Well, when the story broke, how come you didn't say, well, if you refuse to give the police your DNA and your fingerprints, then that's your fault if you got roughed up because it's the law, whether not you like it or not, bye. And that's what, that should have been the end of the conversation. And it's the same with Mike Whitby. He was wanted question. He was to be the police wanted to question him over electoral fraud about his signatures when he stood uh, for the mayor elections here in Liverpool. And when they came to speak to him, he barricaded his door, wouldn't let them in. Well, why didn't you? So why didn't you open the door? You've not to hide, but you didn't. You put his video on, actually barricading the door uh, with the police trying to break in. God knows what people must have thought watching that. And then you get outside Belvale Police Station uh, with Cheney listening to his bullshit about how he's been tortured. So we want answers why all this was allowed, which I know you're not going to give, but I'm going to do it anyway. You know, you're outside other uh, police stations in court with um, Clive Jefferson and Butch Dawn, uh, Dawn Charlton. Again, that was all a load of nonsense contrived by them and their controllers. You, while you were in the European Parliament, right, what did you do to champion workers' rights, pay, conditions in the workplace? While you were um, an MEP for the North West, nothing. You're talking about the bleeding Kalegi plan, which again, the public doesn't give a fucking toss. You know, or you're outside courts, of, courts or police stations championing the very people that destroyed the BMP and took it from you. There again, they didn't take it from you. You handed it to them. And this criticism now, I've translated your latest article uh, by some Polish nationalist uh, group, party, whatever. Um, it's only a short one, isn't it? It's quite... quite uh, Quite disappointed really, I thought it'd be a big long thing, wasn't it? Yes, they've asked you about Tommy, Tommy Robinson and you know he wants to stop immigration and according to you, I'll leave the screenshot, 
you believe Tommy Robinson works for the ultra liquid Zionists? Well, okay, okay. Are they our friends? Well, you know they're not, so why would you be wishing Tommy Robinson good luck in court? Be I'm bewildered. Can you please answer that? Well, I know why you're trying to cash in on his support. And I notice you haven't posted any Tommy Robinson stuff of late. Well, great. Maybe you're listening now. But anyway, or maybe it's because of embarrassment. I don't know. Right. I'd like to think because you're listening, but anyway, whatever. Uh, so, you see, what you've got to remember with Tommy Robinson, Nick, the, to believe, the Zionists may, may be there in the background. I don't know. Or they, they may be running the show. I don't know. I don't believe it's all this about the hammered cartoons, exhibitions, and starts a civil war in Europe and... Uh, with the Muslims and, and us and so Israel then can bomb Iran. Israel will bomb Iran whenever it feels like it, like it did uh, Iraq in 1982 and it knocked the uh, nuclear reactor out. They don't, don't need Tommy Robinson to stop that. And who told you that? Jim Dowson. Oh, you read the police and report that it didn't. I bet he did. Christ, you take in Washington, Nick Griffin. But anyway, to believe, let's just say Zionists do control them. But to believe the security services, hope not, hey, Nick Lowe's Jerry Gable, Searchlight Magazine don't have any input in all this, would be naivety at its worst. Come on, they must have, you know they must. And if that's the case, then why was you wishing him good luck in court? It's like uh, me wishing uh, Nick Lowe's good luck in court or Jerry Gable wishing me good luck in court. It wouldn't happen. So these are questions that we need answers, you know. It's fair criticism, this. It's not attack. I don't want to attack you. I view you as a fellow British nationalist, white nationalist, whatever, and I hope one day we can get together and start doing real politics again and win back our, our country and save our people from the nightmare that we know is upon them now. We, we haven't got long left, you're right, but we can do it. I believe we can. It doesn't matter how, how many MPs we need. We, we Listen, once we get one MP in there with a fox amongst the chickens, we've won it. We, we've cracked it, trust me. We can do this. But anyway, anyway, we shall see. So, it's fair criticism again. It's not an attack, right? I know the enemy fears you, trust me. And I'm not creeping up to you or anything like or patronising like you do. Uh, they do, right? Because a lot of people are unaware of the emails I get, the messages I get, which I've been getting from the spies for several years now. And they've built up a pattern. You can see what they're trying to do, how they're trying to influence me, what direction they want me to go. And I go along with them because it's good. It really is good. But, you know, Stevie Wonder would see through them all. Okay, thank you. He almost uh, broke my jaw. He, he actually took my jaw out of the line. There was an investigation going on. That particular chief inspector, which was uh, he was in charge that day. Um, it was between six, uh, five, five and six, maybe seven. 